Hello everyone, Doug Redmond here, and I'm going to be talking about an app I wrote called Effective Permissions. Now this is an upgrade of um, an earlier app I wrote, um, and it used to be called Effective Folder Permissions, because it was all focused around uh, the folder-based security. For this new update, I've added a lot of features and I've expanded it beyond just folders. So let me talk a bit about what it does. Um, this is a, a tool for Vault administrators. If you're not a Vault administrator, nothing's really going to work for you. <clears throat> so uh, it's probably best if I, I kind of talk about some of the problems I'm trying to address here with my utility. So um, imagine you, you know you're the Vault administrator and one of your users comes to you uh, and says, I need to work on this file, but it's showing up as locked for me. It's not showing up locked for anyone else, just me. Uh, give me access, because I need to work on this. I've got a tight deadline. So you um, navigate over to where the, the file is. Right, and, and this is kind of... Um, something you've probably seen a lot, this this type of view. You've got some files that are locked, you've got some files that are hooked to items, you've got uh, lifecycle states going on. And one thing to keep in mind with Vault is that what I see might not be what another user sees. So another user might see a different set of files here, another user might see a different set of locks, so that's kind of one problem, is that each person's view is their own. Um, another problem is if you see something like a lock, um, there's a lot of things that might be the cause of that lock. It could be the folder permissions. It could be the lifecycle state. Uh, if the item um, is not in uh, the work in progress state, that might be causing the lock icon. So you as a, as a Vault administrator uh, have got a bit of work to do to figure out what the cause of this, this problem is and, and how to fix it. <clears throat> now, under the normal Vault tools, you'd have to jump around to a lot of places and do a bit of detective work. Uh, but with my tool, you can go to some, uh, you know, you can highlight any file or folder and you can run the effective permissions command. And this is what you are going to see. Now hopefully some of this is familiar, this part on the left here, where you've got your users and groups, and then down here you've got your access control uh, settings. So this is designed to look very similar to, to your kind of standard property thing. I'll show you the, the default vault uh, like if I was setting folder security, um, you know, this is how I would do it. So you kind of have the same permissions, but you, you have this idea of, of a user and group. You select them and you get to set your permissions on them. So effective permissions looks, looks uh, very similar to that on purpose. But it, it gives you a bunch of extra information to make your life easier. So at the top here, uh, at the top left, is uh, it tells you what is controlling, what, what, what's the factor controlling the security on this. And it's saying that it's the item. Um, so because the file's hooked to an item, the item's in, in some state, and that is causing the security. The way Vault works is, um, is uh, it, there'll only be one source of it. So if if the items are controlling it, then the folder security is, has, has no impact. Same with lifecycle states. There's only going to be one winner here, and, and the utility is going to figure out what that is. Um, so this right here um, is, is the access control list, or ACL for short. And that tells you what all the settings are. And then over on the right is a user-based view of um, this ACL. Because a lot of times with, with, with an access control list, you set up your groups, and it's not really clear how that's going to impact users down the line. 
Uh, so what this does is it lists all the users in Vault, and it says, okay, this is going to be their view of the thing uh, um, of the thing we're looking at, right? In this case, the file. Um, let's see if I, I have a bit uh, better example here. Yeah, this one's a bit more interesting. So you can kind of uh, you can kind of see. In this case, uh, it's a lifecycle state that's controlling this. You get to see um, what everybody's access is on this. Now, another neat thing that you can do is right because we're we're trying to fix uh, our user, and and in this case, the user is uh, Bishop. Bishop needs to be able to edit this file. He can't. Uh, he should have access, but he doesn't. Um, and we can kind of go through and, and figure out why. Uh, Bishop is both an engineer and a builder. So what's happening is um, these deny bits are uh, kind of getting in the way. So we can actually update that right from here. We can, um, uh, like we can get rid of the, the deny bits. And, and as you can see, as I change the settings here, it'll update the user list. And, um, I mean, you can go in and you can play around with things a lot um, to get things working how you want it to be. For example, um, we could go in and, and we could restrict everybody from this thing. And, and as you click, it'll update the user list. <clears throat> uh, if you want to remove any of these these entries, you just kind of highlight the user group and you hit the delete key, and it will it will remove them. So anyway, what I want to do is get rid of these delete bits. Personally, I don't like using uh, a delete bit. the The way uh, access control uh, um, lists work is that. Um, it's kind of assumed you you don't have access unless somebody gives you an allow. So okay, so we've got Bishop back where we want. He's he's an engineer. He gets right access, and the fact that he's a builder isn't isn't hurting anything. So when we do do that, we can commit the changes. Um, because we're updating a lifecycle definition, we get this warning that says, "Hey, you're not just updating this file. You're going to update every." file, folder, custom object, anything in this state is going to get updated. Uh, you know, do, do you want to continue, yes or no? Um, and if you hit yes, it gets updated and everybody's happy. And if you go into the vault settings and, and look at that lifecycle definition, you're going to see that the security has been updated for it. Um, now, if we weren't doing a lifecycle state, uh, let's say we're just doing a folder. <coughs> um, and this is only going to affect the, 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 the files inside of that folder. You're not going to get the same type of warning. So if I go in... Um, If I go in and do something like that, I don't get any type of warning because it's it's isolated to just that folder. <clears throat> but this this uh, this grid here, it's pretty smart. It knows all of the the special little rules um, involved. Um, so, for example, it shows Burke as not having. Uh, as having read-only access, that's because Burke only has guest. Uh, he, uh, he doesn't have the document editor role. He's just a consumer. So that's why Burke has this lock. Even, even if I go in and I explicitly give Burke permission, uh, it's still going to show as read-only because he, uh, he doesn't have the role. Um, a couple of other things. Uh, administrators will always have read access. That's another thing that this thing knows about. Even if I go in and I try to deny administrator, um, uh, it's still going to have at least read-only access. <clears throat> oh. 
just want to talk real quick about uh, custom objects. Uh, that also is uh, built into this as well, but there's no right-click menu just because of how the API works. Uh, so you have to go up here to Effective Permissions to uh, to get into that, but it works the same. Um, it 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 knows whether it's uh, um, it's from the kind of the default lifecycle setting or sorry default custom entity settings. Uh, but this could be overwritten with with uh, a lifecycle state or something else. So again, same same type of concept there. Just from within this utility, you can get all of your security how you need it. Um, let me just talk real quick about some of the legacy features. Still very useful. Um, if you want to just kind of have a quick overview of all your folders, um, there is a a view for that. So this is kind of um, it's kind of a nice little grid here. So that was the permissions view. You can uh, customize that how you want with the settings. So you can see how deep you want your folders to go, um, whether you want to show inactive users or, or users that don't have vault access to that vault. And you can also add in more folders to the view or, or remove those. Um, so if you, if you had something that's fairly deep, um, that you want to show, you can uh, you can do that. And then last, uh, there is this administrator list, kind of a, a cute little feature. Um, uh, you know, because users can be part of groups and groups can be part of groups, um, it's sometimes hard to figure out just who exactly are the administrators on your system? Um, this will this will give you a nice quick list of all the the admins. Again, uh, I I found this useful personally. Um, sometimes I'll go to uh, to our internal vault and I'll be like, hey, who added this guy as an admin? Um, you you, you kind of want to keep this list at a minimum. Uh, anyway, that's just kind of a quick overview of the utility, so hopefully uh, you find it useful.